all right guys welcome back to the channel so today we've got the december box uh for a paco box and uh we're gonna use the tactica pocket knife that we got in the barrel and blade i don't remember what month it was but uh nice little nice little knife uh i've been enjoying carrying it and the reason why i enjoy carrying it is because well most people would say hey there's no pocket clip and the be honest usually most of my pocket knives I I take off the pocket clip because uh, when I get in, in and out of the car I mean it tears up the cars it tears up the couches I don't know I just have bad luck with pocket clips I guess but yeah I just take them off so it's got some pretty good action to it it's really it's pretty sharp not a bad knife it took me some getting used to but basically I just stick it in my back pocket alongside my wallet it's been all right anyway this is the december box so it's the christmas time it's not very heavy um but heavy always doesn't mean better so we will see what we got all right what we got here all right, so what we're looking for here, so we're gonna look for, well, let's see what we got here. So this is Creek with his wife, Christmas blessings from the Stewarts, the two children, and they have, uh, they personally, it looks like they almost actually personally did right on this, so that's awesome. Thank you for your business, Creek. And the kids and the wife. Awesome. Nice little nice little Christmas card from Creek. I've been wanting with this box for a long time. Long time. What else we got in here? Sage to Sawtooth Bushcraft. Mountain Man Money. I don't know what that is, but anyway, so look here. As a Boy Scout, we called toilet paper Mountain Man Money. The essential outdoor product is life changing. Softer than a pine cone, safer than leaves, and you get to come home with both of your socks and both of your sleeves. <laughs> Not to mention your pockets and shirt tails. That's funny. So this is just the instructions for something that's in here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and look at that uh, in a minute. We've got Learn Outdoor Skills Online. It's a 10% discount. Coupon mail call. I don't know if it's a one-time use, but if you guys are interested and you don't subscribe to BattleBot or PocoBox, uh, there you are. Looks like it's a bunch of online courses here. Build the perfect bug out, bug out bag. How to build your first longbow for under $10. That looks like some cool stuff. But what we are looking for is we are looking for this. So let's get in here and Push this box to the side. Fishing pole. How to build your own fishing pole. Well, that's pretty awesome. December 2023, like I said. Uh, there's a little disclaimer. On the bottom it says... Uh, He's not per responsible for whatever laws that uh, are in your counting the products he gives you. Uh, the Apaka Box Survival Skills Challenge for this month. It always comes with a uh, skills challenge. And this month is going to be the Bushcraft Bow Saw. Okay. So let's go through here and see what we got first. This is the Takedown Pack Pull. Not sure. Inspired by uh, by inspired by ice fishers who use small re reactive fish poles, we worked with the skilled craftsman and reptile tool works to uh, develop a small lightweight takedown fishing pole that is perfect for any backpack and is inspired by one I saw in a museum in Michigan while on vacation. In my opinion, this is one of the coolest little pack poles I've ever seen, and I hope you appreciate the design and functionality as much as I do. 
When testing this design, I reeled in countless fish this summer, and I'm excited for you to give it a shot, whether they're on the ice or in the woods. I'm assuming this is going to be it here. Um, yeah, this is going to be it. So it's all in a kit here. And, well, I'm assuming that's it. Yeah, it's got to be it. So... All right, so after a little bit of research, yes, this is the this is the kit how to make the takedown pack pull. So that's what it does look like there. Pretty cool. It's a cool little project to do. Something you can also throw in a bug out bag or two. You could actually uh, I'm sure the blueprints in here. This is all your instructions. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on it later. Um, you could keep those blueprint instructions, and you can keep this. Uh, you know the blueprints and uh, make copies and put them in several bags and you can always make this out on the field so pretty cool item i like the idea we're gonna i'm gonna have a follow i'm gonna try to remember to do a follow -up video i can't say i'm going to because then i'll forget so anyway we read that one about that and then uh, the next on the list is a mountain man honey so let's go ahead of here and look at mountain man honey okay so this is uh, packaged and provided by our friends at Sage and Sawtooth Bushcraft in Idaho. This pack of Mountain Man Honey, mu Mountain Man Money, not Honey, Mountain Man Money, can be worth its weight in gold one day. It's a perfect addition to your bug out bag or any day pack. Save your sock shirt and pockets. These compact ex uh, pellets expand with a little water and create a moist towelette that can be used as a toilet paper or wipe wet wipe. The pocket sized waterproof container holds seven pellets, providing you with days of hygiene coverage contains 14 pellets and a waterproof container okay well that's not a bad idea um we've all had our you know places where you know you get into an emergency and you know sometimes there's even you know you get in an emergency and you go into a gas station there ain't no freaking toilet paper in the bathroom so this is kind of a cool idea actually uh i never thought about that so yeah there's bunch of tablets in here and uh yeah i'm um, looking at this and you know what i'm pretty sure that's a ferro rod that's glued in there could be wrong but that's what it looks like anyway this is a cool little concept i mean of course i'd like more than one but for what it is and that's another thing about a pocket box if you're not familiar with them um, he tries to get stuff from, uh, small, you know, businesses, um, that are, you know, in the United States and whatnot. So, yeah, Mountain Man money. Just add water. Cool little item. All right, so next on the list is the 24-inch Buck Saw Blade. Now, I would be... I would be careful with this. I can't believe he sent this in here. Ooh, this is nasty. Look at that. Yeah, so it's definitely a really nasty saw blade here. So let's go ahead and read. I couldn't in good conscience send you an awesome book about making buck saws and leave you hanging with materials. So I've included a 24 inch bow saw blade to help you get started with Hutch's guidance, this bow saw blade and a little paracord, you'll be a bow saw. You'll have a bow saw better than Jeremiah Johnson in no time. So this is part of another. This is part of the uh, Paco Box Skills Challenge. Um, let's see here. We'll keep on going on here. So this is the EDC uh, EDC Pocket Saw. EDC pockets. Uh... Okay, well, I'll actually skip one. So, this is how to make a buck saw. Nice little instructional book here. Step by guide, step by step guide to making this game changing tool in the shop or in the field with limited tools. So that's pretty cool. Goes over 
premise of this book, how to make a book saw before you start, saw blade, uh, instructional pictures, very, very good information. Now this is real, you know, homesteading kind of stuff too, which is kind of nice. So any of you folks at homestead, um, can you have access to mail? This is another reason why pocket box is a good, good, uh, good thing to have. So ready, set, adventure. If you guys are interested in this, I'm not affiliated with the Paco box. I just really like their products. Um, yeah, some good stuff in here. And with minimal carpentry skills, I think anybody can do this. So sweet. I have a lot of, if you saw the amount of instructional books over the years from Creek, it's, I have a literal library of how to live off grid. It's, uh, really cool to have. So, your guide to the Apaka Box Skills Challenge this month is brought to you by my friend and fellow outdoor instructor Hutch Hutchinson from Colorado. He has written and published what I consider to be one of the absolute best manuals on the market for making a takedown bow saw. Whether in the shop or in the woods, this guy does, has a bow saw designed for everyone. Hutch's detail about notching and harvesting materials second to none, and I can't wait to see the saw that you build us build using his tips and tricks in this fantastic 118-page guidebook. Apaka Box members are getting the first print copies of this book fresh off the press. Nice. So next we have the EDC Pocket Saw, which I'm assuming it's this. The only blade that I see in here. Speaking of saws, how about a pocket friendly micro saw with a multi material blade? That's the EDC pocket saw. It's a small but mighty. It's small but night, mighty. The red blade makes it easy to find and it folds up safely to stow away in a pocket or in a pack or a pocket. Uh, we designed these in house ourselves, and you're the first to get one. Use the saw to buzz through metal. PVC, plastic, pipe, and wood. Oh, interesting. It's got a Kydex handle here, which is, eh, I mean, I mean, all you really need to do is have force, you know, back and forth. And it's definitely uh, funny. I mean, it's a, it's 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 a cool concept. It's it's bolted in. It's a it's a skill saw blade for sure. You know. So, or no, not skill saw. It's a sawzall blade. That's been cut, and then they stamped their logo on there, and they made it in-house. I mean, not bad. It's real thin too. You can shove that right in a any anywhere pack pocket. So, all right, cool little item. Okay, on to the next one. Active skin repair. What have we got here? Athletic cleansing body spray. Active skin repair. Natural skin repair. So prepare to doctor recommended clinically proven formulation for HOCI. Huh, let's see what he says about this. Active skin repair spray is a medical grade treatment for everyday wound and skin repair. It is simple to use, multifunctional, and helps support the body's Natural healing process. The technology used in skin repair spray is the same doctor recommended and clinically proven mole molecule used in hospitals and households worldwide. Active spray works on minor wounds, cuts, scrapes, sunburns, normal burns, chafing, rashes, insect bites, and other skin irritations. For the first time, this regenerative technology allows you to externally treat everyday skin damage using the same molecule that your body uses internally. Because the product is natural and non-toxic, non non it is safe to use around the head, eyes, mouth, and ears. Well, you know, stuff like this is kind of cool. I probably would keep it in the truck, but I mean, at the house, you're just going to go and grab a Band-Aid. So, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. It's good until 2025. So, yeah, I'll keep it around and... Sometimes these kind of things, I don't, I never think about using them, but I like the thought, you know, of it for sure. But so we'll have to, uh, you know, if I think about it, I remember, I'll give an update. 
if I actually use it. So, drawstring possum pouch. It's a 12 by 6 pouch. Okay, so we got a canvas bag here with the Creeks logo. It's definitely a straw drawstring pouch. And uh, you can definitely feel... Um, it's it's definitely been made by hand. Uh, not the bag, but the uh, waterproofing. You can feel it. And this is made in Wheeling, Western Virginia. By uh, and I will, if anybody's interested, there's the website. Again, I do not get anything for doing this. These drawstring duty bags are the perfect weather-resistant pouches to storm protect your gear. Made from seven-ounce wax canvas, these bags are built to last for years and. Are, of hard use indoors or out. If you like wax canvas as much as I do, this much new pouch will be one of your newest favorite pieces of kit. So yeah, okay, they are handmade, but I, you can see the shine on it. So it's definitely, it's got that waterproofing wax on there. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I think the wife is probably gonna get more use out of this than me, so I'm probably gonna hand this off to her. So, what else we got in the box here? All right, interesting. Creek has given us the, I'm not sure <clears throat> if this is just an extra. I think he's been throwing these in, but this is the, uh, maybe it's a Christmas present. This is his, uh, he has um, different little subscriptions for plants and then, uh, Skills skills challenges. But this isn't skills challenge. This is a how to identify certain plants. So cool, horse rider. I'll throw this in the binder. I have the binder from him. I actually stopped um, subscribing to the skills uh, challenge. Uh, it's really good information, but I stopped subscribing because the binder got like that thick, and I ran out. Um, and then I just didn't ever get around to. Uh, it's only like six dollars a month, and it's. I mean, I have that much, like, information of this, of, of do-it-yourself stuff, uh, like living on homestead style, and it's very good information, because when the shit hits the fan, I'm telling you, it's not going to be good, man, but it's going to be good if you're protected, that's, that's where it's going to be good, so, alright guys, well, that's going to do it for this, uh, Apocalypse box. This is the last one of the year, obviously. And, uh, can't wait to see what he has in store for next year. I'm definitely going to try to do a video on some of this stuff. Especially this takedown, uh, fishing pole here. I'm really curious to see how this is going to work. Um, but anyway, um, if you're new to the channel and you guys like this type of content, uh, make sure and hit the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, uh, that'll be it for this video, guys. So, until next time, have a good one.